Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Thomas Gunn with Dust House. Today we're just going to do a really quick, simple tuna salad. It's great on sandwiches, obviously. Um, it's great on a pita, it's great on rolls. Great with a toast of rye bread. So this is the classic recipe that I grew up with. Um, everybody seems to like it, so I'll show you how it's done. It's really quite simple. We're going to start with three cans of tuna. So just get that in a bowl. Obviously, they've been drained of their liquid. There we go. So, believe it or not, one of the, the most important part to making a great tuna salad is actually how well you shred the tuna. Now, you could do this in a food processor but uh, be careful that you don't over process it because then it just becomes very mushy. It's you know easy enough to do with a fork. So as you can see I'm just breaking up all the tuna. doesn't really matter if you buy uh, tuna chunks or tuna that's already more shredded in the can. So this is pretty well shredded. We're going to keep shredding it some more once we've added the mayo, so if you see, you know, a few larger chunks, don't worry about it. So into this we're going to add a quarter cup of finely chopped celery. And now you're going to want to add some onions. <clears throat> so the onions I've finely chopped, I have a mini food processor here. But uh, onions can be quite pungent, especially when you're eating them raw. So a trick is to just soak them in some water beforehand. You can also soak them in milk if you prefer. So let me just drain this real quick. So just give the onions a nice drain. Just going to judge the quantity here before I give you the amount. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be a quarter cup of chopped onion as well. Sorry about the noise. So the uh, quarter cup celery and just a little less than a quarter cup of onion. Depends how, you know, if you like your Tuna salad oniony, then go ahead, add you know a full quarter cup. But like I said, raw onion is kind of strong and not everybody likes that. So go a little easier on the onion. Whatever three quarters of a quarter cup works out to, that's what you want to add. Alright, now half a cup of mayo. One tip I'll give you is buy the uh, Half fat mayo. Not everything tastes, you know, as good in a lighter version. But I find half fat mayo for some reason tastes pretty much like full fat mayo. So you may as well do the half fat option. And I can already tell I'm going to need a little more mayo. You know, this is the thing when you're a home cook. You don't always have amounts written down. So this is actually great for me as well because as I go along, I'm going to get exact amounts. So let me just add so that is another quarter cup, so now we're at three quarters of a cup of mayo. Okay, that's going to be good. So as you can see, as I'm mixing, I'm pulling the fork down like this and shredding the tuna more. Because 
like I said, that's really the trick to a good tuna salad, is having it really well incorporated, really nicely shredded, so that it's a nice smooth consistency. So, and one other trick, because you know, when I learned this from my mother and from my great aunt, who would make it like this, back in the day, Tuna all came in oil, packed in oil. So nowadays, most of the tuna you buy is packed in water. And actually having it packed in oil, to me anyway, brings back the flavor of a tuna salad that I grew up with. So although I buy the tuna that's packed in water, I end up adding just a touch of oil to the salad to bring back that old flavor. So that was a quarter cup, uh, sorry, quarter cup. <laughs> that would be a lot of oil. That was a scant tablespoon of oil. I use olive oil. In this application that works well. And the only thing we're missing, can anybody guess, is obviously salt and pepper. So as you know from my previous videos, I prefer using shakers. I think there's less cross-contamination that way. That was a sprinkling of salt, sprinkling of pepper. Give it another mix. Now we'll give it a taste. That tastes just right. Get myself a clean spoon. And that, folks, is it. From there, I mean, this can be prepared days in advance. It's great if you're having a brunch, if you're having a holiday breakfast. This is the type of thing you can prepare three, four days in advance. Leave it in the fridge in a Tupperware container or a plastic container, not being sponsored by Tupperware, but should they want to, I'm all ears. And there we go. This goes in the fridge, ready for use whenever you're ready to have it. Hope you enjoyed this recipe, it's quick and easy. It's a classic. Please subscribe, ring the bell, like this video, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.